Okay, you beautiful humans. I have pink hair. I started a new job and Pam has been bugging me. Well, not bugging. She just said, can we please have some videos? And I said, well, I may have 30 to 50 that I've filmed, but I've never actually showed you yet. So be prepared. I'm going to put up some videos that are from olden times and their hauls and we'll, and their stuff and things. And, and then we'll do some updates later. But I love you. I miss you. I'm so glad you're here. Stick around. Enjoy the haul. I don't know what video is coming up after this, but it's going to have some stuff in it. And, and we'll look at it together. Let me know what you think. Shocker. We've got some boxes from shopgoodwill.com. And I'm hoping there's some things I can wear on my date tomorrow. So, uh... Let's open these boxes up. Hi, I am Amy, the rainy day shopper, and I have been doing some shopping and hopefully there's some things in these boxes that I can perhaps wash very quickly because it's already late and wear tomorrow on my outing. I am trying on the brown top from Eloquy. It is rather low cut and I have like this unfortunate like sunburn issue from, you know, life and growing up in the 80s where people slathered, you know, tanning oil on instead of sunblock. So yes, and that's a thing and whatever, but it is low. It's also got really like long arms. So like this is like all nice and sleek. Ooh, there's a fuzzy. Anyway, this is nice and sleek, but then when I pull it up so it's not hanging over my hands, it gets bunchy. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to be. But the jeans from Cut From The Cloth, I will try them on in a video and like show them the whole thing. They are a, they are an 18 and they are too big. They're about five inches too big in the waist plus stretch. So they're cute, kind of. They don't hug and lift the butt as much as I would like. They're straight leg, which is fine. I love straight leg. Anyway, so I can't wear those tomorrow. I'm kind of bummed. So I'm hoping that maybe in some of these boxes, let me less talking, more opening. Uh, there's something that I can wear. I don't know what's in these boxes because I you know they're closed and I haven't opened them yet and I don't remember exactly what I've ordered from every place so there might be some things in here that would be fun to wear oh well these would be fun to wear except they are not for me these are Ariat boots kilties I love them I actually just sold a pair of these oh these are in decent shape too I do need to give the bottoms a wash I'm not going to take them out of the bag right now um these are these are pretty good they do have some scuffing on the toes and stuff but uh, I love areas and I just sold a pair very similar to those for around $70, I think. So let's see how much did I pay for these. $16. Then there was shipping, which they didn't include on here. So I think shipping might have been like seven ish. So 23. Uh, these are a bigger size than the ones that I just sold. So I'm going to list them high and I'll probably sell them again in the $70 range. So I'm not going to be wearing those tomorrow, but oh well. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying not to, it's actually stays in place because I was also worried if I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I don't want to be like inviting like, hi, here, look at my chest. I mean, you can see it. It's there. It's hard to, it's, you know, it takes up the whole screen if I lean back, but um, I don't really want to be, you know, advertising. At least not on the third outing. Okay, almost got this one open. All right, so this box, what does this have in it? Oh my gosh, so many things. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Wow, $1.99, $3.99. I hope these are good. Yes, and there are some jeans in here that might work. So let's just get into this. Ooh, what's this, jewelry? Did I get a jewelry? Let's see. Put that over there. Mm, keep that there. Hold on. Scissors needed, but I don't want to cut the jewelry. All right. So got a little packet. First thing I pulled out. And oh, she's tiny. Oh, and she's marked 14K. There's something before that too. So she's just a little cameo. You can see through her. I don't know if she's real. That's the back. I don't know how old she is. If you know anything about cameos, I should probably take her out of the bag. I thought she was a wee bit bigger. Um, but can I see what's there? 14 carat. And I can't see what's in front of it. There might be a name there. So she's a pin. Look at, you can see how she's very pretty. 
or she has a uh, jump ring so you can put a chain through her so let's see hopefully you can see all right she's pretty I'm not gonna wear her tomorrow but I did get her I think I paid the most for her in this bag this box of things what is all it's all wrapped in okay we have a pair of Madden boots these were $1.99 so I grabbed them uh there is some like interior wear exterior they look pretty good for two bucks plus shipping which i'll cost average out between everything you know how that goes um not bad i'll take those all right what else have we got in here everything's wrapped but like not wrapped it's all in a bag maybe they like forgot to mark this one and then had to open up to see what was in the bag but i'm like none of the bags have been sealed yet except for the cameo which i'm glad the cameo was sealed at least so she didn't fall out she was itty bitty all right okay what is this oh these are dkny jeans but they're not jeans not a brand i would normally buy but these are just black stretch very stretchy and all my leggings are kind of like droopy right now uh, so I thought I'd try these and I think these were two bucks. So I figured it was worth it. And if I don't like them, then I'll just flip them. Not for a lot, but you know, they'll flip. Okay. I need to wash those. Oh, should have opened these boxes earlier and stuff filming the other video. Ooh, jeans. Jeans. All right. Ooh, this is a little damp. It rained today. So these are Buffalo Texas low straight size 34. I don't know what the conversion size, like what a 34 is, medium stone. Um, but let's see. Oh, that might be good. Uh, these are straight and medium is a good rise for me usually. Um, high rise. I do have a couple pair of high rise that are not bad right now. So I might need to wash one of those. But these have some distressing and are a good color. I don't know if they're guys or girls, but I'm going to try one. They said women's, I think. Ooh, these are new. They're capris. Uh, these are Nine West, which is a fine brand. Not something I normally buy to resell or flip, but because of the price and I'm buying them to try on for me. These are size 16 uh, capris. They're new with tags and I will try them on before I take the tags off because the length is really good. I think they look super cute and fall with booties and like a little maroon sweater or something, which, ooh, I have one in that pile that I should wash came in a like mix lot it's not good enough to sell but it's fine to wear like i don't care so i gotta try those on before i wash them because i don't want to take the tags off if i'm gonna flip them what are you oh you're new too oh you were two hundred dollars what did i buy all right it's in a bag let's let's see what this is of course it doesn't matter what the the original price was if no one wants to buy it but hey we'll just go with it let's see this is oh harvey bernard two hundred dollars originally size eight I think I paid more for this one, but hold on. Let's just see how much I actually paid for this. I I don't think I've ever ordered from this. Maybe I have. They just were having a really good day. Okay, this was $10. I'm like, that's not $2. We'll see. That's a little more than I will pay for most things, but this is really cute. Oh my gosh, she's got beautiful princess seeming. Uh, she's just a uh, green and blue, like tiny check. She's so cute. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love her. Where does where's your button go? Do you have button? I don't know if she's open. She might be open. I'm confused. Anyway, she's really cute. Really cute coat. Lightweight spring jacket. Of course, it's winter right now, but hey, no one else buying it, so I'm gonna buy it. Uh new tags, that one's to sell. What else is in here? Leather. Alright, I just sold a an icon size 4X motorcycle uh vest it's kind of a like armored vest has a ride for your die or something or search and destroy or something giant patch on the back anyway i sold that for 120 some dollars so i do love picking up biker vests especially in larger sizes this is a small it says but that is a big small so that's a men's small it would probably fit me if i wanted to but i love these adjustable sides so while it says small it can be adjusted to fit and this one actually has not been trimmed so usually you adjust it to your size and you trim these off so they don't dangle as much but this is in really good condition i think this was two dollars can't go wrong 
right. And one last thing in here. Ooh, also new with tags. What are you? You're green. You're pretty. Ooh, you have sparkly buttons. You know how much I love the buttons. Okay, let's open faster. Talk less. Here we go. Do, do, do. This is gorgeous. Ooh. Ooh, it's Casper. Size four. Oh, it's a suit. <gasps> she's pretty. So there's this. And she's got her tags on her. Let's see. Do we have a price? Looks like the price was cut off. Two piece. We'll see. Anyway, a uh, beautiful green and pr likely a vintage Casper made in Vietnam. Let's see the skirt on that. I think it's just a cute little straight skirt. Oh yeah. Pencil. Fabulous. Uh, and it does not have the price here. Jade, the golden age. So, oh my gosh, I absolutely adore that. Do we have a spot here? Or was that just a shadow? Okay. I don't think we have a spot. We're okay. Wasn't really I'm planning on opening these tonight. I've been organizing the giant pile that was right here. Not here anymore. There you go. Not that it's been photographed yet because I've been photographing shoes, but it's still out of the way. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Ooh, lots of bubble wrap, which I love because I use it. What did I get? Oh, I got this. Was that a little chamber pot? It's made in Holland. Is it copper? It has a dent. It has this. Uh, I think I checked comps on this and they were pretty interesting. We'll have to see if this fits in with those. Anyway, I'm just going to put that down there. <clears throat> Awkward. Ow. I didn't break a nail though. So we're good. Where am I going to put you? All right, let's put you there. I don't want to scratch it. Okay, I'm just going to leave that down there. There's actually not anything breakable in it. It's just... It slid. Okay. Don't mind me. It's a, an adventure around here. Going on outings. Trying new closies. You know all the things. What are you? Oh. Okay, this is a... Let's see. So, let me show up before I mind. So, it's a Western style uh, rodeo, like a rodeo master kind of jacket. Cowboy chic. I just sold, this is Buffalo Country Western Wear 36R. I just sold, I had a black one and it's been sitting in my closet forever, but it's something I relisted on the eBay. And it just sold, I think for $45, something like that. So I saw this and I picked it up just because I love the Western stuff. I sell a ton of boots, so many boots. And speaking of the boots, we got a pair of the boots. Uh, these are black. Hmm. A little more wrinkled than showed in the picture. So let's see what brand are we? Do we have it on the bottom? No, I will need to do a little cleanup. They do have a little more wrinkling. I'll do a leather condition and disclose. These are, um, hold on. Are they Justin? No, Tony Llama size 10 D. Uh, Tony Llama's sell in any condition. So I had ones that had a hole here. I just disclosed it. Someone bought, obviously I could have sold it for more if it didn't have, like it was in the stitching. So it was an easy stitch up for someone, but people buy them to refurbish them. And I've had a couple pairs that were not in great condition. I was like, oh, should I sell them? Like I didn't notice something when I purchased them at a yard sale or they didn't disclose it when I sold, you know, purchased them online. Um, but people will buy the Tony Llamas, especially the vintage Tony Llamas to refurbish. So that's just something to consider. You don't have to fix them up yourself. You can just disclose it and other people do it for you. It's brilliant. Anyway, uh, this one doesn't have a packing slip, so I can't tell you how much I paid for those, but I didn't pay that much. All right, I'm going to go try some jeans on. I will keep you posted as to whether any of them fit my boutte and if I wear them with this shirt tomorrow. Hope everything's got well. By the time you see this, it will have been like last week, but I'll put a note maybe if I remember. <sighs> just watch the video at the end of the month where I will show you all of the outfits and how they look and you can help me decide jeans. I need help with jeans. All right. Hope everything is going well with you, that you are out there making the world a better place because you are an amazing human and you're doing the best you possibly can in this world. Linda, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you got the box of jewelry and that you have found some things to keep. Oh, I was so worried. I've never sent out a mystery box before and it was very, it's very stressful, very stressful. So if you are in need of jewelry and want a box of things to sort, let me know. It did take us a while to get that organized. Um, <laughs> just because, you know, I, I was afraid to send it out because what if she didn't like it? She said she liked it. So, <laughs> all right. I hope everything's going well with you and I will see you later, alligators. Bye.